What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling. We are in for another treat today. Just outside of Phoenix, Arizona on the Salt River. I didn't know if there was gonna be water in this river, so I was kind of holding my breath when I pulled up. This place is absolutely freaking gorgeous. And I'm gonna be fishing it all day. I could not be more excited. I'm literally so giddy right now. There are, what's in here? Like everything's in here. They stock it with trout. There's walleyes, crappies, of course, bluegill, largemouth. I don't know what isn't in here. So I'm gonna start fishing. Let's go catch something. Throwing a Bobby Garland with a little road runner to start. Oh my gosh, this place is gorgeous. Oh, dang it. So the plan was to start right below the dam. Unfortunately, you can't really park very close or I couldn't find a place to park. So I had to pay 12 bucks. We're quite a ways from the dam I have no problem getting my feet wet, but some of the, I mean, there's some good water in this river. And they stock trout in it, so I assume it's really cold. I have every intention of catching a fish today. And when I do, it's going to be so awesome. I haven't even started fishing yet, and this is definitely going to be one of the more beautiful places that I've fished. And I've fished some pretty cool looking spots. Well, I don't really know what I'm gonna do now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up there. I don't know. I have to come down here though. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, I really want to get close to that dam. Hey, I thought that I ran out of room. I was just right here. And I saw a couple horses walk by. Big time trail that I'm pretty sure anyone can use. Maybe our hopes of getting to the dam are not gone. Stay tuned. Well, we're gonna stop before we get there and make some more casts. But the point is, we're getting closer to the dam. I see fish. There's largemouth, small, but like a little group of them. Little group of largemouth. Let's see if I can't pluck one out. I don't see him anymore. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. Buddy. Oh, shoot. I got them all sandy. Darn it. First fish, though. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I'll get you back right away. Sorry. Oh, yeah, he took off. Sweet. <laughs> all right. Bobby always produces tiny little largemouth. That sucks that I had to go up there and... Oh. And I probably scared the rest of them. Yeah, there was just a little group of them in here. Sweet! Tiny little largey, but hey. First fish out of the Salt River. This is officially a fishing video. I 
I was on the little slingshot cast too. I'm fancy. Just the sign I was really hoping not to see. December 1st to June 30th. It is February 10th. Okay. All of that gorgeous area will not be getting fished. I don't like I don't know where that means. Obviously right here, but downriver is fine. What a bummer. I was that close too. That's the dam. Right there. What a freaking bummer. Stupid sign. I mean, where does that... Sensitive wildlife area. Like I'm walking on rocks. All right, well, I mean, you can't see that sign when you're down here. So, sensitive, not sensitive. Because you could fish all the way up river and not see that sign. So, I obey by the rules. funny that I came here thinking crappies and walleyes because this could not look less <laughs> like crappie or walleye. Okay. Okay. There's depth around that rock. There is a fish there. There has to be. There has to be a fish up in there too. Let's see if we can get, oh, perfect. I might have to put on a spinner. Oh, I think I saw a fall up. I think I saw a fall up. I think. Yep. Yep. Oh, multiple fish. Multiple fish. Oh, that kind of just bombed in there. Okay. Okay. We're in business here. We are in business here. I just got hit. Okay. What are they? I think... I don't know what they are, but I can't make too many casts unsuccessfully. How am I gonna, I need to get right there and I can absolutely catch fish. All right, these fish are making me work for them, but I'm gonna make it happen. I have to now. I'm on the other side so I can just let my fly float down. If I had a fly fishing rod, these fish would already be caught. I'm fairly certain of that. Okay. Holy, you gotta be kidding me. These are all wasps. What? That whole entire tree. Is completely full of wasps. Everywhere. I'm not messing with that. What? Come on, man. Unbelievable. All right, try and find a plan B. 
Oh, there's a little lizard. Holy cow. On the bright side, absolutely gorgeous still. All right, quick recap. There are fish in there. I threw a Bobby Garland and got a bunch of follows. Couldn't hook up. I threw a fly, this Pistol Pete fly with a bobber. They didn't want anything to do with it. I think because of the bobber. Then I threw an inline spinner, wanted nothing to do with it. Then I walked over there so I could let this fly just float down into him and it would have caught him. That entire palm tree looking thing is completely full of wasp yellow jacket things. These fish are jumping, multiple. So I couldn't get in there. Now I'm back where I started. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna try and creep this way. Yeah. I mean, it's the only other option that I have. So I'm just gonna slowly walk out here, try not to spook them, and also probably gonna stop talking and try and get the fly out there to them. I'm probably gonna spook them. But like I said, this is my last option. So if this doesn't work, I move on to different fish anyways. I had to have spooked these fish. I'm way too close now. Oh my God, I got one, got one. What is this? Is it a large mouth? Yeah, it's a large mouth. I don't even care. I got one. <laughs> oh, that took forever. That took forever. Oh my goodness. All for that fish right there. But hey, with that backdrop, with that backdrop right there is worth it. All right. <laughs> well, since I'm over here, let's see if I can't catch a couple. I want to hit one of these freaking wasps in because I guarantee you those fish would eat those. All right. Here we go. There we go. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. That is crazy. So cool. I mean, these are tiny large mouths, but like I said, I mean, I can pretend they're trout. It's like I'm trout fishing. <laughs> It's like I'm trout fishing. Had to try and get a cool shot. They're definitely in there and they're definitely eating. I just got hit again. I wonder if there's anything other than large mouth in there. Must just be the shade that they're drawn to over here. And there are still trout in here, so I could, whoa, that's a little bit deeper. I could hook up with the trout, which would be so freaking sweet. I thought it was doomed. That was freaking big. What was that? Oh my God, what was that? Was that a trout? 
Oh my God, what was that? I have, literally I have goosebumps from whatever just came in and hit that. That was a trout. I know it was, had to have been. It looked, yeah, that, that was not a bass. That was a freaking trout. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to stay tuned. Our next stop is back home in Iowa. Gonna be doing a little bit of ice fishing. See you guys there.